You no, know, but here we are again. We find where the wither is. And the wither's right there. We find where the breastbone is. Now, you're going to go from wither to breastbone. Back it. Make that turn. And here's where the elbow should be. And again, this is what you see in the ring all the time going up winning is dogs who's, uh, if you went down, it's okay, Pantan, you're not hurt me. If you went down from the wither and you drew a straight line, you won't find the elbow. You're doing real good to find the middle of the leg. Stand. That's all stand. right, honey. Yep. Right. We're yes. working on standing. And you see here when you get that loin, there's the last rib. Three fingers, possibly just a, a three and a half on my hand. So this is a nice short loin here. We'll go on to the rear. And again, you lift the dog, let it fall of its natural accord. And through there, you should be able to put two front legs. Uh, when it naturally stands. Now, our standard of a mini is the same standard that the giant and the standard schnauzers have. They're allowed when they walk to meet center line and walk like a working dog. All the judges want the mini to walk wide. That's why I say you have to practice what gate will your dog extend its rear out just a little bit and walk wider with its rear because the faster you move, the more it's going to go to center line. Now, from here to the floor, you want a nice straight line. You don't want hocks that turn in or out either way. And you get a, a good hock often with good muscle mass on that second thigh. Second thighs take a good year to develop well. So don't expect the puppy to not feel like marshmallow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, puppy. <laughs> Same thing here. Nice. No. It's okay. You're good baby. Good baby. Yes. Oh, I like kisses. I like kisses. Uh, hair between the pads of the foot is very necessary to get a good tight foot. Back to the head. You're looking for uh, a cheekbone that you can feel more prominent. But you've got to feel some cheekbone. I mean, there's no such thing as no cheekbone there. And again, it's the forefinger on the top to the break forefinger. And again, you'd like to see nose about right here. Let me see that again. The four fingers. See four fingers. Let me get that right there. Okay. And four <laughs> fingers up there. Okay. Eyes should be oval and dark, and they are. Ear sets are good. We wish we had a couple of natural and I'd show them yeah how they could change their ears yeah, yeah. yeah well it'll come uh, see how the eye teeth inner space each other and act like a good unit there mm -hmm. same on the other side and that's primarily all the judge is going to look for on your front and uh, there's a differences in fronts because in Europe they want this front to bow out slightly and have a prominent chest bone United States, because we're showing in that terrier group again, they like to see frat fronts. So, again, camouflage with grooming. And here we are again. Length of body and height should be identical. And then when you're judging legs, there's two fingers high, two fingers. So actually, the leg does show that it's in proportion to where uh, each is equal. A lot of people talk about uh, hocks being, if you're measuring with your hand, I always say a hock should be no less ever than four inches. But if you get a six inch, uh, a, a hock that is, say, you can put seven fingers there and you're just getting to the top of that hock, you got a hock that's a little too high. So this Can one would be too high? No, this is fine. Okay. This is fine, see? Five got a five-finger hock, that's okay. fine. And uh, the reason I check everything with fingers is because you always got them with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to be a little bit different because your hand's a little different than my hand, but it's always yours. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah, so I'll comment on two, a couple things. All right. Because I'm using her as an example because she's got some good, good things and she's got some bad things. Like she said, this is the thing you see more in Europe. There's two types in the United States. There's what they call the working type and the terrier type. What's correct? What's the breed standards say? Working What's type. Correct? The working type. The working but dogs. the judges breed us on the terrier type. Right. So I breed for a four chest because I consider that more the working type than the flat front. So there, you'll find a variation of breeders doing different things in the United States depending on what they're trying to breed for. Now in her case, I want you guys to feel her back because you'll see she does not have a level back. She's got a little bit of a dip here. You can camouflage that in showing them. But you don't you don't necessarily want that. So I want you guys to feel her back so you can see what I'm saying. Right there. Now go all the way to her tail. Run your hand all the way to the tail. Now, and I purposely took out her undercoat. Let me to show let you, you how you can camouflage that right. from the judge. Now watch what happens. Check that back again. And now I just feel. extended her legs. See what you can mm -hmm. do, you can alter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have the Canadian way of altering that by holding the head Right, down. by tilting, yes. tilting yes. the head. Go ahead, guys. Or you'll see a lot of people who do what we call the rocking horse position. All the way to the tail. <laughs> so you can kind of feel with your you fingertips. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you see how it changes. Let him check now, whether you change now, it. Now put now your hand across it. her once we've stretched her legs out. Yeah, See how I mean, you can alter it's it? Still there, but still it yeah. You can alter yeah. it, and you can alter it with coat by letting undercoat grow in. You yep. know, and taking but, a lot off the rug. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're doing this right here with this dip here, how does she age? Does that cause any arthritis no, or no, anything no, in here? No, mm -hmm. not anything. No. In fact, dogs with good laybacks as puppies will always have a dip. Right. Right. Okay. But I'm wanting you to see some of those things. The other thing I want you to feel is her head because we're going to show you in the next group of dogs a different head. Run your hands and feel how it dips here right under her eyes. Uh -oh. Do you see that? Yeah. Do you feel that? I do feel that. You can feel it better by Yeah, just go like that. And just throat. gently do it. Don't don't, don't, gently, yeah. don't 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 grab oh, her yeah. hard, but just okay. okay I do, feel that. do you see that? She lacks muzzle. She yep, yeah, she lacks what they call fill. Under the, eye. so the Under the eyes, pointy. and again, you can do, yeah, yeah. you can do right altering there. in their, yeah. in their grooming to cover that up. But do you want to feel her too? When you're doing some of the snouches. And I figure a lot of this, a lot of this is the judge touching. Once you get them in a lineup, that judge isn't going to remember any no, of that stuff. No, but we're talking from a breeding standpoint. Right, right. You know, but if you want to breed better dogs, these are the points. Yeah. So you want so, to you want this right here. This, no, you do not no, want, want this. This is don't bad. Don't, don't want this that. This is bad. Do you and you do not want, want this. this. Okay. But we're want wanting you to see here, some things that you that. don't want, okay. so that so you can know. see something when it is the right thing. Okay. Because if you can't feel, yeah, do you want to feel too? I can see it. Okay. Because, um, you know, you want to be able to feel some of those things on her. So, okay, you can put him on. You'll feel the coat for quality.